Sam Levinson, aka one of the most perverted mainstream directors, has gotten himself into controversy after controversy for his depictions of women, underage girls, and topics that most likely shouldn't be on TV to be glamorized. So why is Sam Levinson such a point of contention and heavily disliked among women and femmes alike? Let's start with Euphoria. Now, for my own personal reasons, I have not watched this show and will not watch this show. But I managed to do quite a bit of thorough research. Sam does not ever really shy away from sexualizing and victimizing his female characters in which they're always either getting taken advantage of, or suffering so much that it evokes such an emotion within us viewers that it can trigger some certain memories. Now, is that his fault? I mean, who can really say, right? Euphoria is an extremely popular teenage drama show, apparently supposed to be dramatizing a teenager's experience. All of the characters have troubling lives, going through trauma every other day. Most of the girls are sexually exploited, whether that is through revenge, statutory and even slut shaming. All things that are extremely traumatic for women, femmes to go through, but it's in the name of entertainment. Nothing more, nothing less, apparently. One of the problems that I had that came up with this show is that I learned that Maddie, one of the main characters, didn't really like rough intercourse. She confides in her boyfriend, Nate, about this, and it's because Maddie slept with a 40-year-old man when she was 14, but apparently Maddie, the 14-year-old at the time, was the one in control. How does that make any sort of sense at all? That's right. It just doesn't. Kat's character has to be one of the most uncomfortable, disturbing storylines that I have come across when it comes to watching a mainstream television show. First off, she's the only plus size character in this show. And of course, Kat has quite low self-worth due to the fact that she's one of the only virgins in her friend group. So she goes ahead and goes and sleep with a random guy at some random party. But Kat didn't know at the time of this intercourse, this guy, this trash ass rat was filming it in its entirety. And so you already know where this is heading. What do you think that guy did? He posted it online, but he also posted it to corn websites. When Kat found this out, she was obviously mortified. But the more that Kat scrolled through the comments of this video, her being underage, having intercourse on a corn website, and there were so many men praising her and her body, and she had a light bulb moment of, oh my God, I can make money for this? And people actually like the way I look? Because who could ever think that a plus size girl is sexy? Off. Mind you, Kat is literally in school. Why is it that the storyline for a plus size girl gaining a bit of self-worth, being a teenage girl, realizing that men like seeing her naked? Way to really put forward on how to become a confident teenage girl, Sam! Cassie, oh Cassie. Sydney Sweeney, who plays this character, literally had to tell Sam how unnecessary it was to have so many topless scenes of Cassie. Now, while Sydney does say that in fact, the Euphoria set was very safe for her to work on, she doesn't really have a problem with Sam Levinson other than the fact that she literally had to tell him, hey, why does Cassie need to be topless so much? Like, well, you know teenagers do this? Yeah, I do know that they do this. I was a teenager once too, sweetheart. But a TV show doing all of this, uh, this whole character's focused is being so over sexualized you wonder if you're watching a teen drama or a f***ing hour long porno. Cassie is the most naked character in this show. It's like a personality trait almost. Her whole thing is being 
shamed at school. Are you seeing a pattern here yet? Are you? Sam Levinson cannot write women. He just, he just can't. And I don't care what anyone has to say about that. But he cannot especially write teenage girls because th there is something that irks me whenever a male decides that he's going to be making a teen drama and 90% of the show is filled with sex and nudity. It, it's just, ugh, what the f and the reason I say this, the reason I say he can't write women or teenage girls is because we're seeing it through a creepy male's lens. And how people rave about this show, I will never understand. I recently spoke about The Idol and why I am not a fan of it by any means. And yes, I did watch the entirety of The Idol. So my opinion about this may be a bit more valid. We literally see the main character, Jocelyn, go bare chested within the four minute mark. Somehow naked women adds to the plot. And don't get me wrong, I love women's bodies. I love bodies. Naked bodies are so damn beautiful. How However, when a director specifically focuses on the nakedness of women so much in his TV shows to the point where it's just like, what are we watching? Like, I, I don't, I don't understand what the are we watching here? It doesn't add to the plot by any means, especially with what we now know, how the idol was actually meant to be. And I think that's what pisses me off so much because had it still been in control by Amy Semitz would have been one of my favorite shows, hands down. Jocelyn never really was the main character of this show. It was The weekend When Sam took over the production for The Idol, he was the one to ramp up the scenes. I don't understand why there were so many disturbing hardcore porn scenes. It's absolutely nothing to media and I don't really care if that is a point of contention in this video that I'm saying that nudity and scenes don't really add anything to media because I'm not saying that as a whole. I'm just going to reiterate my opinion once again. When a male director's entire focus on writing women has to do with constantly sexualizing them, you really have to think, how does this person see women? Like, I'm not really a fan of over objectification whenever I'm trying to just watch a TV show. And yes, I know that I don't have to watch it. I know I can switch off the TV. But once again, it's kind of excusing things that need to be spoken about. Thank you. The Idol was nothing more than a Lily Rose Depp and The Weeknd there, I said it. That is the exact way I feel. If you feel differently, good for you. Allegedly, there was a scene that we have never gotten to see in the idol, thankfully, because what we're about to talk about is really disturbing, okay? The scene would depict the weekend smashing Lily Rose Depp's face as she smiles and asks for more, giving the weekend an erection. Lily's character was also supposed to put an egg up her vagina and the weekend really taking a strong disdain for the female perspective the show was portraying before him and Sam got their hands dirty in the mix. Okay, so let's talk about it. I'm no stranger to kink. I'm no stranger to BDSM. But what that deleted scene was going to depict thoroughly scares the f out of me. Why? Because somehow using and beating the sh out of a woman to give this man an erection is supposed to do what exactly? These scenes were supposed to appeal to some really, really weird people. Now, I think that that is a very, very dangerous thing to be trying to depict to young girls, young femmes, young people in general around the world that you should subject yourself to something that you are really not comfortable with, that you really don't like, and that you're only doing for the pleasure of the other person. That is something that I am not on board with. I never will be on board with. And it's crazy how whenever you talk about it, how that is not a good thing to be portraying in mainstream media, especially people always have to say that you're kink shaming or you're just so vanilla. And it's like, you guys are so brave 
brainwashed by the internet that you think somebody who not only partakes in kink themselves and can have an opinion like this, but these people won't actually have a conversation with you about why it's really harmful to put these depictions in mainstream media. I'm going to end this here because I am just going to waffle on even longer about just the disdain that I have for this man's depictions of women and how he writes them and just the shit he comes up with in his grotesque brain. But I just want to thank you all for your time today and thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your existence. Please take care of yourselves out there and most of all, love your fucking selves.